I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Stop popping those pimples on your skin. Hi guys. So today we are doing a skincare video. And for this case, I am going to be talking about the mistakes that you've been doing that are making your skin to continue breaking out, that are making you to continue getting acne that is not clearing on your skin. So stay tuned to the end of this video in order to know which mistakes maybe you might be doing that are costing you all that acne on your face and how you can avoid these mistakes in order to get great results on your skin. Before I continue, my name is Sophie. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here and it is your first time in this channel or it is the first time you're seeing this beautiful face, so welcome to this channel and uh, make sure that you subscribe, you turn on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you are notified. On to the first mistake is that you're not using any makeup removers at the end of the day and this is making your skin to continue breaking out when you go to bend with your makeup on your face definitely all these makeups have covered your pores so that means that when you sleep your skin will not be breathing and that is very dangerous and this is definitely going or rather eventually going to cause a breakout on your skin there are many things that you can use to remove your makeup but the ones that I can recommend more is using the micellar water I will, con I will insert a photo of maybe the Nivea micellar water that is most commonly used by most people to remove the makeup and also you can use any essential oil that you have to remove your makeup but after that make sure that you cleanse your skin so well maybe with the cleanser that you use on your face so you can use the coconut oil you can also uh, choose to use the olive oil and any other oil that you feel that maybe is good for your skin and for my case i use the coconut the tropical coconut oil i insert a photo of that oil here yes that's it for the first mistake that you're doing so avoid not taking off your makeup as you go to sleep maybe in order for you to remember every day that you need to take off your makeup uh you can have some makeup wipes next to your bend on the drawer that is next to your bend so that anytime you're getting to bed you can see the makeup wipes and if you are not taken off the makeup from your face then they will remind you that you need to do something so yes that's it let's move on to the next mistake that you're supposed to avoid so number two mistake i know most people are guilty of this i am also guilty of this so <laughs> guys not changing your pillowcases frequently can really cost your skin a lot whenever you sleep the air products that you use on your air sometimes they they are left on the pillowcases or the the pillowcases absorb this product and then after some time they accumulate on the pillowcases and uh, can cause a breakout on your skin so what are you supposed to do you're supposed to make sure that you change your pillowcases at least twice every week if you're not able to change them every two days so make sure that your pillowcases are changed twice a week and for this case guys i am going to recommend the silk uh the pillowcases with a silk material the or the satin material these do not absorb much of the products from your uh, hair and maybe from your face the the product that you use on your face as you go to sleep and number three uh is that most people are prone to changing their makeup and the skincare product every now and then every now every time a new makeup product is out there in the market you're running for it and you purchase it and start using it on your skin you see a new cleanser you you see a new toner you say okay guys this is not okay if your skin is very sensitive and acne prone why because if you keep changing these products 
remember these products are made up of different compounds different minerals and this pro this some of these compounds that are in this product can be harmful or maybe ash to your skin so if you keep changing them then that means that you'll not even be able to know which product works better for you and that means that you're probably going to keep changing the product because your skin is not going to heal at all so make sure that you use one product at a time give it time study it well know whether it is working for your skin if it is not working for your skin then you can take a little break and then start using another product but do not mix up different products guys if you want a clear skin if you want a glowy skin make sure you don't mix up different products on your skin if you have to use a new product then make sure that you take your time first you you take a break from the product that you're using and then start using a new product in order for you to allow time to study whether this product is working for your skin or not number four forgetting to wash your makeup brushes and your makeup sponges guys this is very very wrong some people may be using their makeup brushes for a month without cleaning them what do you think you're doing to your skin guys you are endangering your skin or you're rather making your skin prone to acne prone to breakout prone to every other thing that is making that is going to make your skin not be the best and you're not going to love it so make sure that your makeup brushes are washed every now and then especially the foundation brushes make sure the foundation the foundation brush is washed regularly and also if you use the beauty blenders especially for your foundation make sure that is cleaned regularly and the beauty blender especially the beauty blender because most of the time we use them when they are dampened make sure that it is very clean in order to ensure that you do not get breakouts on your skin number five hey if you have pimples on your skin stop popping them every now and then i'm talking to you <laughs> i'm talking to you stop popping those pimples on your skin whenever you pop a pimple you push down the content in that pimple deeper to your skin as much as some of it may, may be coming out and you may think that wow i have dealt with this pimple most or some of these uh content in the pimple are pushed deeper to your skin and probably they are going to cause more breakouts around the same area where the pimple was so if you've been picking up your pimples your acne has not been clearing yes and that is the reason as to why it is not clearing so make sure that you stop the habit of picking up pimples pricking up pimples on your face yes guys the next uh mistake that you're doing is picking up on your skin or rather every time you have your hands on your face most people they keep touching their face i don't know why they keep touching their face and this is very dangerous because every now and then you are touching different things and um uh, i'm very sure by the time you're touching your face you have not sanitized your hands so you're transferring the bacteria you're getting from different surfaces on your hands from the hands to the skin and this is going to make your skin always to break out because the skin around our faces is very very sensitive so we do not want to make that skin prone to breakouts the next thing is that make sure that every time uh you want to pick a call with your phone our phones collect a lot of bacteria, a lot of dirt on the surfaces that we place them and maybe from our hands we transfer the dirt to the phone so whenever you're picking a call this dirt is transferred to your skin that is why you will find out that most people have a breakout around this region next to the ear if you're used to uh, taking your calls or the picking your calls on your right ear then your breakout will be so much on the right here if you're used to picking your calls with the left ear then 
uh, the breakout will be matched on the left ear so make sure that whenever you're picking a call you make it an habit of wiping your phone i know it is not easy but you can always uh put reminders or rather uh remind yourself every now and then whenever you're picking a call to wipe off your phone mistake number seven is that uh make sure the products that you buy from the market you read whatever is used in making them you don't want to use products which are very harsh compounds so make sure whenever you buy a product you know whatever is in that product so that when you're going to use it on your face you probably are sure that it is not going to harm your skin in any way remember that different people have different skin types so it is very important for you to know your skin type before using any products on your skin then the next thing guys is not washing your face as you go to sleep okay i know i talked about this previously as i was uh uh handling the point on not taking off your makeup okay so this is for the people who don't put on makeup do not say that ah, i don't put on makeup so i don't need to wash my face as i go to sleep you need to wash it you need to wash it why because during the day maybe as you're busy running your errands in town in whatever place that you are you've picked a lot of dust. you've picked a lot of dust on your face and it is sitting on your skin and it is clogging your pores so make sure that you wash your face as you go to sleep another thing guys is that if you have oily skin i know most people with oily skin they do not uh, apply moisturizers on their skin and actually that causes more damage on your skin so you think that maybe because my skin is very oily i don't need to apply a moisturizer because maybe it is going to to make me appear more more oily or no guys a moisturizer does not make your skin oily a moisturizer is meant to hydrate your skin the last but not the least and this is the most important um uh, point and most people do not take this very seriously and that is not drinking enough water so guys make sure that every day you take at least eight glasses of water in order to keep your body hydrated as well as your skin if you don't take enough water then it emits the skin to overwork itself by producing a lot of oils to keep up with the uh, dehydration and uh, rather make your skin at least appear not dry but actually this is causing damage to your skin so make sure that you drink enough water during the day make sure that you drink at least eight glasses of water every day in order to make sure that your skin is going to be glowing so guys if you are guilty of any of these mistakes and you've been doing them comment down below and tell us which mistakes and when you realize that you are making it and probably what you have done uh after realizing that you're making this mistake so for me i am guilty of most of these mistakes and that is why i am sharing them with you in order for you maybe if you've been making the same mistakes in order for you to avoid them and make your skin glowing since you need that skin to glow whether you have makeup on or not make sure that your skin is glowing and that's all we want so guys up to this point i hope that you have enjoyed this video if you have please make sure that you give it a thumbs up if you're new to this channel please subscribe and welcome to this family and make sure that you turn on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you are notified. Thank you guys for watching. But uh, before I go, please make sure that you tell me which video you need to see next on my channel so that I can keep you guys updated. Thank you.